Hey beauties, welcome back. I am so excited for this video because we're going to be testing out something to see if it actually works and if it's going to be worth the hype and all of that. So I've been going around seeing people talk about the magnetic lashes. These are from Ardell. I just got them yesterday and I did a poll on my Instagram, on my Instagram stories to be exact. And a lot of you wanted me to do the first impression to see if these actually work because they say that you do not need any eyelash adhesive, which I think is really cool if it does end up working out because you guys know, like sometimes I get the glue on my lashes and it's the most annoying part ever. And then having to do like a, an extra step just to remove the eyelash adhesive is like a pain in the ass. So you guys know the struggle. So we're gonna see if these are actually good or not, like if they actually work. So I have a few different styles here. Um, but before we jump into the video, if you guys are new to my channel, what are you waiting for? Don't forget to be part of the family. All you have to do is subscribe and also don't forget to hit the room and notification even if you're already subscribed. That way every time I upload new videos, you guys can be updated with my future videos. So yeah, now that we got that out of the way, my loves, if you guys are interested in knowing if these actually work or not, then just keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys real quickly like the styles that I got. So right here we have the double demi wispies. I actually really like their double demis. Um, just the regular ones, the ones that you actually do need to put the adhesive on. So I'm excited to try those. Um, then we have these that are the accents. These are style 001. So you can just add them to the, the end of your lashes. And I think we have another one here. These are a little bit more dramatic. These are 002. They're a little bit more thicker as you guys can see. So these are really cute. And then we also have the Double Wispies, another one of my favorites from Ardell. And lastly, we have here the Double 110. So there we have those styles right there. So these are the ones that I'm gonna be uh, trying out for you guys, the Double Wispies, just because, I mean, these are some of my favorite from Ardell. So we're gonna try these out and <laughs> hopefully they work out. That's why I don't have anything on my eyes. I didn't wanna like put eyeliner just to like really notice how it's actually gonna sit on the eye, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna zoom you guys closely into my eyes. Here we have the lashes. I'm just gonna take it out of its plastic. There we go. So I'm gonna read the instructions of how you're supposed to do this. So it says gently remove the upper magnetic lash from the tray and, and lay on top of your natural lash line. Gently remove the under the magnetic lash from tray and place underneath your natural lash line to connect the two magnetic lashes together. Okay. I'm kind of nervous, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so I guess, I guess that's how we're gonna do it, right? I mean, just... Okay, I'm gonna use my tweezers for this because I don't wanna ruin it. <sighs> All right, this is gonna be so weird for me since I'm so used to like the eyelash adhesive. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it on top of my natural lash line. All right, so far so good. I mean, right now it just feels like any other lash just sitting on top of my lashes with no uh, glue. So now it says we're gonna grab the one that's under. Can I get a drum roll? I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, um, well this was a little, this is a little awkward actually because now I have to make sure that this stays in place. Here we go. Oh. Um, kinda, kinda. Um, not all the way, it's kinda there, but not all the way. As you guys can see, this is a little awkward. I, I kinda have to fix it a little bit. Okay, this is feeling really awkward on my eye. This doesn't feel right. Okay, let me try this again, actually. Uh, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna hold with my tweezers, the top lashes, like as close as I can to my lash line. And then I'm gonna apply this one with the other tweezers because this was just too awkward, okay? And let me grab my mirror real close to me because I feel like this is what we need. Oh, this is actually gonna be so hard. So hard and awkward. Uh, you know what? No, I can't do this. Hold on. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Why is this so hard? Here we go again. We almost had it the first time. I don't know what happened after that.
Maybe if I pull my eyelid up, maybe. Okay, maybe what if we try to just fix it on? Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna poke my eye. What is happening here? Why is it so hard? I'm getting frustrated. I have no patience, you guys. Oh, I think we got it, right? No? Yeah, no? Uh, no. That corner is looking... Oh, what the heck, you guys? Like, that's not looking cute. This is not looking cute. <laughs> One last time, and I'm gonna try it with mascara. Maybe what if the mascara actually helps, you guys? We're gonna see. I poked my eye, guys, so... I had to take a little break right here. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna try it one more time. Let's see if this is gonna help. So just have this sitting. What if I place it a little bit higher up? No, that doesn't work. Hmm? Yeah, it's because when you sit it, like how is this supposed to stay all the way back? Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is the annoying part. Here we go. Here we go again. I'm gonna try from like the end first. Actually, you know what? Tweezers are not helping. I just realized that you guys, maybe I've been not doing it right. I'm gonna try it without the tweezers. Here we go. Oh, like, why does it come forward? Stay. Stay. Stay, 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 stay. <laughs> I have zero patience, you guys. <laughs> Is it good? Is it good? Oh my god, did I actually... Almost there, you guys. Almost there. Did I get it? Oh my god. I think we actually... This, I think, this is the best I can do, you guys. And... What do you guys think? The only difference I see right now, or feel at least, is that I feel I feel like my lashes are a little like down. I don't know, like a little, a little heavy, if you know what I mean. Um, like there's something there. Is this corner? Oh, that's gonna be annoying. <laughs> I can't get that corner, that inner corner. Like uh, that's getting annoying. I can't fix it, guys. Okay, guys, I I can't fix this. So, I think this is as good as it gets. <laughs> um, I'm going to try the other eye with mascara and see how that works. I'm going to apply a little bit of Benefit Bad Girl Bang on this eye. I'm going to see if this helps. Let that dry. Alright, guys, so I think my lashes are pretty dry. Yeah, they're pretty dry already. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna try this eye with mascara on. Um, so yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay. That actually is sitting a lot better now on the eye. Oh, what the? Nope, nope. Back up, back up. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh, 
the inner corner. So when I'm looking at you guys, I feel like it looks okay. Like it looks decent. But then as soon as I look down, it's like, what the heck is happening with your lashes? Like, you know, I'm going to try to fix this. <laughs> oh, I think I got it. I think, no. This is as best as I can do, you guys. I can't get it to go more inside the inner corner. I mean, I'm not going to say it looks horrible. Like, this side needs help, though. Like, it needs help. <laughs> but this side with mascara, I feel like it definitely helped a lot, like, with at least having it sit and then getting it locked in, you know? Um, the inner corners, I... Yeah. That's definitely a no. Overall, my thoughts are that this, you need a lot of patience. And if you don't have a lot of patience, then you are, this is going to drive you nuts. Like, it was driving me nuts. If you don't mind the eyelash adhesive, putting on the strip, waiting a few seconds, getting it really close to your lash line, and then having that extra step to remove it just in case there's eyelash adhesive residue on your lashes or whatever, then don't go for this, okay? But... If you have the patience and you can definitely work with it and get the hang of it, I feel like these can actually work. Like, I don't know, like it's it's kind of like decent, but I don't think it's horrible. I feel like with practice, you could definitely make these work, you know? So if you have the patience all in the world here, then I would say try them out. I mean, you know, why not? But they're a no for me. <laughs> I can't. I can't wear these. I just cannot. Like, these are really annoying for me, just having to be there, you know? Imagine spending all the time that you can already with your makeup and then having to spend more time now with your lashes. It's like, eh, I think I'm going to pass. I'm going to go with my little baby here, you know? So this is definitely a no for me. So hopefully, you know, this video helped you get an idea if they actually work or not. Like they actually work, like they stay in the on the eye, but you just have to be so good at like getting it as close as you can to your lash line. So they don't completely suck, I would say, but you just have to have that patience and that like practice of like putting them really, really, really as close as you can to your lash line. Um, and if you have acrylic nails, girl, bye. No, like this is a no. <laughs> I feel like it would be so hard because even if you try to do it with your tweezers, the tweezers, like the lashes stick to the tweezers. So that's why I'm like, no. So yeah, that, that's my final thoughts, you guys. I really hope that, you know, this video was helpful for you guys to see if like you guys want to actually try it out for yourself. It's a cool idea, you know, but if you guys want to try it out, then, you know, definitely go for it. You guys will probably make it work maybe, you know, I don't know. But like I said, maybe with practice, you guys can probably do this and get the hang of it and maybe this will become a new thing, you know. But for me, for me, just, just no. So yeah, that concludes... This first impression, you guys, I really hope that you guys liked it. If you guys like these type of first impressions, you guys already know, give me a big thumbs up. And also, if you guys can please let me know in the comment section what other products you guys would like for me to test out. I will also be doing more IG polls. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's all going to be down in the description box on my social media. So that way you guys can go check it out. So that way I know exactly what else, what other products you guys want me to try out. So yeah, with that, my loves, if you guys believe that we can and we will make a difference, then don't forget to be part of the Birdie family by subscribing. And if you guys hit that rainbow notification, you guys will be updated with my future videos. So don't forget to hit that rainbow notification too. But yeah, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Mwah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, a ver. Also nothing. <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna say. Para bailar la bamba. Para bailar la bamba. Se necesita un poco de... She needs to go to the bathroom. Ah, what the fuck? Ah. Ah, I just woke my eye. What the fuck? This is... You know what? No. Ay, what's happening? Okay. Oh,